All right, so now we've come to the uh, bag F, which is uh, the start of the rear end assembly. Uh, so we have uh, gearbox, uh, some suspension arms here, pinion gear, and the center rear drive shaft. All right, so same thing here. Um, I started uh, the same way on the front end. So just gonna remove a bit of extra plastic there, add the bearings inside the, the gearbox for the pinning gear. Then I will add some, some bearing oil to the bearings. These bearings last for a very, very long time. Um, I don't think I have replaced them that often this year to be honest uh, so really good quality bearings here in the in the kit for the pinion gear so you push the, the pinion gear in like this from the back side of the gearbox and now we're gonna tighten the, the, the drive shaft here the universal center drive shaft so we take this grub screw again with a flat flat part here to lock the pinion gear in place I tighten it just down a little bit to see so that I have this little bit of play that you also that I also said about uh, when I when I assemble the front end. So just a little bit of play in this way um, will make it spin completely free, and now it does. So now I can go ahead and and crank it down fully. So now that is done. Next step is to, um, to mount the uh, arm inserts here so I'll take my 1.5 bit for my electric driver here and start mounting the, all the small little screws again make sure that this one is turned all, all the way down because you don't want to strip the threads and you don't want to run it all the way down either with electric screwdriver so i do the last little bit with by hand uh, with my 1.5 wrench So once that is completed, uh, you want to add the uh, the drip screws onto the arms as well. So you run your two mil wrench through the arm, and you help by pushing with the thumb uh, from the bottom here to to make it easier for you to thread it in. Again, the screw is coming up this way, so you're gonna have to thread it the uh, opposite way of what you normally would do with the screw. Just like that. Now I have both arms ready. The drive shaft is on the pinion and now it's time to uh, mount the arms onto the uh, gearbox here with the suspension mounts. So again you have the middle insert that comes in the kit. These can be changed with the optional uh, high or low depending on where you run your gearbox and, uh, and tower. Uh, so this is also a setup 
uh, thing you can play around with, but the kit comes with it standard, which is in the middle. So I push the lock nuts into the pocket here for the C block, and I like to add a little bit of glue to make them stay in place when you when you work on your fast track so they don't fall out. Then you take your button head and mount the C block onto the gearbox here. Again, I don't tighten the, uh, the screw all the way in yet because I want it to, to be free like this so I can align it with the, with the D block and the screws that go through the gearbox later on. I insert the uh, plastic piece here into the D block. And then we're gonna insert the um, the suspension mount pills as well. So my my preferred setting is always running zero um, in the C, and I've been running five point five down on the D block. So just a little bit extra kick up than running same uh, on both uh, C and D blocks. So this is the D I have in my hand here. So I'm going to mount it with the point five hole down. And this is when you have the 0.5 towards the upper hole is down, and this is how I say 0.5 down. So hold down is what we uh, refer to in the setup sheets. And in the C block, like I said, I ran zero, so they don't matter which way you put them inside. Just like that. So these are extra pills that you get in the kit for setup options. So we'll put them to the side together with the ones from the front and then we will organize these into the boxes later on. So the next step is um, to ream the arms a bit. Again you want to check it first so if these spins free then it's fine but they're not completely free all the time, um, so I like them. I like to drill my arms out a bit, even though these hinge pins here they will be free in the in the um, pills for, that goes into the suspension mounts. I always like to to make it fully free in the arm as well. So I always like to start with a 4.1 bit because of the hole being 4.0. So I I start with that, checking if it's enough. Now you can see that the pin is, is way more free in there, so I will do the same on the other side. Check again, and now it's fully free. So that's done. Now we're gonna put the arms onto the suspension mounts here on the on the gearbox. So I add I push the inch pins inside the arms before I put the them into the D block as well and mounting the long screws that run through the, the whole gearbox to the C-block. And this is the reason why I didn't want to tighten this screw here on the C-block earlier, because I, I want to make sure that the, uh, the bolts here that run through the gearbox, that they align with the nuts on the other side where the C-block is. So 
just like this and in the kit you will get um, suspension mounts for a uh, 3.0 degree tow so there's optional suspension mounts for you to run less tow if that's what you what you like as well but the ones that comes in the kit is is 3.0 so the arms are free and this step of the the rear uh, gearbox and rear end assemblies is done. So now we go on to the next pack.